I've had dates go terribly wrong and it's just like if you've been rude to me or something why am I going to pay for you pay for yourself another thing you shouldn't do on a date please and it's important do not fellas girls fellas do not on a first date always try and stick your dingling somewhere where it's not wanted girls do not always try and stick your finger somewhere it's not wanted girls some girls are just they're like they're just trying to draw you out and i just think am i a piece of meat no am i a ford fiesta no i'm a ferrari what's good everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl abs iggy back with another video so look today i'm gonna be talking about the do's and don'ts on a first date you know how it is um this is just all my opinion you know what i would do what i wouldn't do but listen before we get into this make sure you subscribe listen subscribing is free it don't cost you nothing i didn't realize a lot of people didn't know that subscribing is free so yeah make sure you subscribe hit that like button turn on your personal notifications yeah man and let's get straight into this one so number one the first thing you should do on a date is you need to come prepared to pay listen whether you're going on a date with a girl, boy, well, that's the only option, a girl, boy. Um, whether it's two girls, two guys, it doesn't matter. Listen, come prepared to pay, yeah. I know people have their traditions about, you know, if a guy takes a girl out, they should be paying. Or if a stud takes a girl out, they should be paying. Or whoever asks who, they should be paying. And in my opinion, I feel like if I ask someone out on a date yes i would personally pay however i do want to see you fidget do you know what i mean i want to see you grab for your purse do you understand don't just expect it because then it's a bit rude do you know what i mean and i feel like if you don't have any money i don't think you should go on that date or at least be honest do you understand so if that person's like you know what cool don't worry i got this then that's fine um some people think you no know, splitting a bill 50 50 is fine and look that is fine you know um, times have moved on from what it used to be just don't have a high expectation of that person that guy that girl whoever paying for you i have been on a date before or dates before where girls have definitely um expected me to pay um and i haven't always paid um and that's probably for personal reasons like if i've enjoyed a date and i feel like we were vibing and stuff then cool i, I don't mind but I've had dates go terribly wrong. And it's just like, if you've been rude to me or something, why am I going to pay for you? Pay for yourself. Do you understand? Second thing that I believe you should do on a date is make an effort. And what I say is physical appearance, yeah? Just make an effort. Look, the first time you meet somebody, you want, you want someone to be looking at you like, ooh, who is that? Mm. You get it? Like, you, you want that wow factor. Do you understand? And I think, you know, they say it only takes 30 seconds to make an impression on someone. And that is very true. I feel like, look, I'm not saying you've got to go out and, you know, go and buy some fake Gucci and LV and all that. No, 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 I'm designing. But I'm just saying, just take care in your appearance, you know. Um, and as bad as it is, yeah, we live in a world where we do judge people on, on their first looks. And that is just what it is. All right, number three, show interest, ask questions. Yeah, there's nothing worse than just going on a date and you know you feel like that person is just talking about themselves constantly do you understand um do you, i mean you want to you want to kind of get to know someone and this is your first time of meeting them and you wanting to really get to know them so ask about their life you know what i'm saying ask about their interests what they do you know what they're kind of looking for and i think that's so important but anyways um yeah just show that you're keen to get to know them do you understand like and i think that creates a good impression on that person because it's because it kind of says to them oh you know what you're genuinely interested in me as a person and getting to know me. So I'm saying I'm not saying you gotta open up completely on a first date um, and expose your whole life history and stuff like that. No, but what I'm saying is just show that you really care about that person um, and that your intent is good, shall I say. Um another thing to do on a date is and for me personally, I think this is important, 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 important whether you're a woman or a man if you have kids please tell that person 
Do you understand? Because for me, I'm thinking, all right, cool. If I if I meet someone, it's serious, it's getting into it, and I potentially want to spend the rest of my life with someone. Obviously, it's a bit far fetched. You don't really know that, but you know, if you're serious about someone, you're gonna date them, and they have kids. That's a big thing. You're gonna be playing step mommy or step daddy potentially. Do you understand? And especially if you like kids or not, or if you want kids of your own or not, I think you need to tell someone if you have kids you should tell someone i have kids that shouldn't even be a secret anyways you understand i've been on a date before and i think i went on about three dates with this girl and it was good man every day we were smooching smooching it was good and then she told me she got a kid a youth and i weren't bothered but i thought to myself why do you not tell me this like i like you now and i'm not saying it's an issue for me but I just didn't want to be shocked in that way. Do you understand? Because I carried on trying to date her and then I met her you. That kid was just naughty, man. I was like, it just, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Because you're asking somebody not to only accept you, but accept your child as well, which is important. So I think being honest and open, getting that straight out there straight away. Yeah, it avoids any awkwardness. And if somebody wants to walk away with, because of it, then you ain't going to be upset um, straight away because you've told them that and you've been honest from the beginning. Do you understand? So yeah. Other thing I will say on a first date is just be open-minded do you understand and what i mean by that is be open-minded to that date and how it can go listen when you don't don't put an expectation on things do you understand like when i've been on dates before i've not really probably planned it i've just gone with the flow maybe you've gone for drinks or or something fun do you know what i mean and it's just led to the craziest of nights do you know what i'm saying like taking a random drive somewhere or uh, dangerous I wouldn't advise you to do that but do you know what I'm saying like it just adds a lot of spontaneous moments on that first date do you understand so it, whatever it might be we don't know where the night's going to end and obviously if you're lucky it can end really well you know what I mean but just be open-minded and what I will say is one final thing when you meet somebody on a first date is bloody smile oh my god I understand people get anxious people get nervous when you first meet someone just smile there's nothing wrong with smiling it just makes you feel warm and gooey inside do you understand when you first meet him smile obviously you might give him a hug yeah i think you should give him a hug because a handshake is a bit a bit too formal do you know what i mean you're not going to an interview do you know what i mean smile embrace them you might not be a hugger but get over it um and just smile man it just sends that positive vibes warmness to that person and it just starts the day off right all right, cool. So, the first thing you should not do on a first date. Don't talk about yourself. Do not be so conceited, self-obsessed, self-absorbed. Oh my gosh. There's nothing worse than you being on a first date and that person is just talking about themselves constantly. They're not even asking you any question. Probably forgotten your name at this point. Just talking about how great they are, how great their life is how fantastic their parents are, how fantastic their mates are, what they do each weekend. Oh man, I've, I've been on dates before and honestly, I don't know if it's just a nerves thing or what, but stop talking about yourself. Do you know what I mean? Engage, engage. And I understand some people's social skills and social cues ain't all there. I completely understand that, but just take a breath for a minute and think, oh, have I answered any questions? Have I answered many questions? And then direct the conversation just stop talking about yourself another thing not to do on a first date is turn up drunk or high and let me tell you one example so i met this girl yeah and we, we linked up we went there and we was going to get some drinks now and when i met her she was like ah oh, um i don't know whether she just saw me and just got nervous and thought oh this is a chocolate spice i don't know she might have got nervous but she was like oh can we go smoke this was about two years ago and i've never smoked weed at all or nothing like that yeah i was like okay so we must have walked around the corner like around some residential houses now she just started smoking this zoot yeah and i just thought like i was looking around like it was kind of late it was like nine o'clock i was thinking like is this serious like, is this what i'm actually doing right now and in my head i thought no nah, she's trying to mug it like go home i don't smoke so i was just standing here there watching this girl like just blazing a zoo anyways finished that now walked back to the date was inside ordered a drink she ordered a drink this girl was like this for the whole time 
she was literally staring at me like this. So I was just like, are you okay? She was just like, What my, what my, I tried to answer a question. I was like, oh, so what do you do? How old are you? Like typical questions. And it was just one word answers. Yeah, I work in, work in a bank. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm 21. Okay, do you want to ask me anything? Do you know what I mean? And then she was just there, like staring at me. Obviously she was high. Obviously she was high. I was just pissed off because I just thought you've wasted my time. Like, like I've come looking smooth and nice you know and you've just ruined like you're ruining it you're just ruining it <laughs> do you know what i mean um <laughs> so i thought maybe this will wear off obviously I, don't, I didn't know nothing about weed i don't know how long it lasts but i thought maybe it'll just wear off 10 minutes later anyways ordered some food now she was still just there i can't remember what she was ordered i think maybe chips but she was just there like and just staring at me oh, it's just like this is dead but literally must have yammed my food. 10, 15 minutes later, I was like, yeah, I'm going to cut. Paid for my drink and my food. I left. Walking, walking, walking. She must have called me about five minutes later as I was making my way to the station. Oh, can you come back? Can you come back? You know, hung up. Left it as that. Come out the station. She called me again. Oh, you know. Next day, she sent me a, a story. Story apologising. But I just thought it's too late. You ruined it. You had one opportunity. And you ruined it because you were high. It's gonna it's gonna affect your engagement with somebody so don't do it another thing that you shouldn't do on a date and i've experienced this so many times so yeah cool you ask about people's past experiences and relationships cool but do not do not constantly constantly talk about your ex oh my oh my i'm sorry i don't care who you are this isn't a chance to start unraveling your emotions of how your ex did you wrong or why it ended because of your ex and how your ex didn't deserve you i don't really care this is a first date i might care later on do you know understand but at the first date i don't want to know i'm listen don't get me wrong i'll ask about your past experiences like how long you've been single and obviously you know if there's a thing where you've just broken up and you're fresh you know what i mean like it kind of then you then those questions can be a bit relevant like okay cool am i might rebound that's where your mind start might start drifting to but when you're just there constantly constantly talking about your ex man it's boring like it made me start missing your ex do you understand because you're talking so much about them right another thing you shouldn't do on a date please and it's important do not fellas girls fellas do not on a first date always try and stick your dingling somewhere where it's not wanted girls do not always try and stick your finger somewhere it's not wanted let me let me elaborate what i mean by that is look it's not always about cool we've had a good first date we must try and end this literally with a bang no no unless you're both up for it listen some people are up for that yeah first date some people are up for it trust me but if somebody isn't giving you the vibes, they're not giving you that signal, and you're just there like roasting already because that's what you want. Do not apply pressure. And listen, I've been, I've been there. I have been there. I've been on dates before. And this is girls. Some girls are just there, like they're just trying to draw you out. And I just think, am I a piece of meat? No. Am I a Ford Fiesta? No. I'm a Ferrari. If you want to ride me, you got to wait and be patient. Yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> Don't come across like a desperate Danny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my do's and don'ts on the first date. I might do a part two because there's so many things, I think. But yeah, man. But listen, that's me. I'm out.